Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Welcome back to our celebrated tropical exotic little islands of Hawaii here that DeSoto Brown and myself are looking into if the built environment could be as human and uh, Humane, humane as possible and humility and you know, yes. humanity all these things so we look yes. into that and so we're going to break the record because we stumbled upon something literally and figuratively and we're going to break the record with the most images so yep. let's go and run we, we got a lot to do DeSoto. and we're Here talking we about stairways and that's why there's a stairway behind us all right and when we get started we say that first of all there are various stone structures that are part of ancient hawaiian culture mm -hmm. but they never built stairways they did not have that technology or they just didn't think about yeah, it and yeah. they didn't need things like mm -hmm. that for mm -hmm. the buildings that they had. Mm -hmm. We only see these large stone structures for heiau or other important yeah. uh, religious structures, but people didn't live in houses that need stairways. Until when? Well, until in our next photograph, we see that Westerners brought in bigger buildings mm -hmm. and they brought in stairways. And for these buildings, which were all built in the early 1900s, we can see that stairways are a featured part. Mm -hmm. The buildings are up on a plinth, as you mm -hmm. said, and the front stairways become an important aspect of how you approach and mm -hmm. see the building in addition to how you get up to the first yeah. floor. And that's that. But it didn't really take off until when, next picture? Well, after statehood, when we start to see a lot more growth happen in Honolulu and mm -hmm. in other islands to a lesser degree, we start to see a lot of these small walk-up apartments very basic concrete buildings and they've got exterior stairways like the two that you see here mm -hmm. so we're talking about how stairways are a feature of buildings and some of the details for example mm -hmm. that you can do to make stairways yeah. more interesting the next picture as all the pictures are just exemplary we just want to encourage you guys go out there and you see tons of them you do and this is just next to the project we've been shedding a critical eye on the new uh, student housing on king and university and in front of that are these, you know, two, uh, three-story yeah. walk-ups. And there you go. You got two different sort of iterations yes. of the same theme, yes. staircases. One, you know, which we've done show about um, uh, volcanic veneer and one yeah. with sort of a wood slated version. Correct. Here. But these are just, you know, exemplary for many others. So let's look at some of the others. Right. So let's go to the next picture. And here. we're sticking with this time period. We're talking about the 50s and 60s. Absolutely. And we've got a 1960s car in the lower left corner to show you those clean 1960s mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. And you also can see how the, the stairways in many cases are really stripped down to just the basic element. Yeah. But they've also got, as you pointed out, an interesting little twist mm -hmm. in which the riser is not at a 90 degree angle, mm -hmm. but it's tilted a little bit. Yeah. And so that adds a little dynamic and a little sense of motion, yeah. makes you want to go upstairs. Yeah. Just like the cars had these lines that were distinct, That's right. but also looked very sort of moving, right? Right, Moved right. You, you, wanted so, to, you wanted to move in those cars. Absolutely. So next picture is uh, introducing also different sort of, well, this is another example that only doesn't do the riser on the on the foot side, but also does the parallel one on the back side, which makes it even twice as fast looking. Right. This is Crichtondall Hall on UH, and it also introduces a structural system where there is actually beams underneath, right. and then the steps are basically resting on that. Right, and if you look from the side, it looks like a letter Z. Absolutely. That's what you pointed out, Absolutely. and there it is, like Z for Zorro, Absolutely. If us old people. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, and another example here is, is, a, is something you captured next picture here. Yeah, this is a small commercial building, which is on University Avenue, and then in the background you see that new mm. Mahana mm -hmm. Ali housing that's mm -hmm. going up. And this is, again, a really sculptural element of the building. Yeah. And it isn't just the steps, it isn't just the supports, but the railing has an element of that too, which yeah. makes it really unique. It's kind of floating in the air. It is. And maybe the most, I mean, we made it the, the top number one of this little, you know, subfamily here of the meandering one. That's the next picture. That's why we made it the permanent background uh, picture as well, but it's not coming yet. So this is yeah. the third one. This is on uh, Kapahulu in my hood. 
um, uh, close to the fire station on Alawai on the Diamond Head side, a little shopping center that's sort of a late entry to our tropical brutalism. Yeah, absolutely. By the way. And once again, has a sort of celebrated staircase right. that's in the center of it that goes around, winds around, and circles around, and celebrates once again. Correct, and it's got this one getting up. dynamic central core that makes it stand up, and then the two parts stick off of it at angles. Exactly. So it isn't just straight, but yeah, it's yeah, meandering, yeah. as mm -hmm. you said. It's yeah. a little different. And, and so now our best one of this little uh, subfamily here comes now. This is one that's very close to you because you're very familiar and close to the architect who designed this. this and this is, is sort of down the hill from where you live. Exactly. This is Vladimir Osipov's stairway in the Outrigger Canoe Club. Again, a free-floating kind of skeletal thing mm -hmm. that was very commonplace in this time period because the technology allowed you to yeah. build a stairway yeah. that just was the basic elements. Yeah, yeah. And it, again, has this wonderful sculptural artistic look mm -hmm. that turns the stairway, which is just a necessity, yeah. into kind of a feature. And just like the little other one, the spiral staircase, also very sort of exotic, very fun to go up and down. Makes you just feel nature and the environment. Yeah, right. You know? Right, and, right, right. Because it's surrounded by palms, too. It, it is, it is. It's just like... In the jungle, just mm -hmm. like the monkeys climbing there up the you trees. Go. The trunks, right? <laughs> so next picture, you also go to the jungle. Speaking of jungle, you yep. go into the jungle of Waikiki, and you go into some side street, uh, streets off the beaten path. And here on Koa Street, with a building of the same name here, right. we, we snapped this picture here online. And, and so we went there both and, you know, took this picture here. So it's luckily still around. So our point is keep it, keep it, keep it. And right. if you want to change the color, you know, we always like the color themes from way back because they were so subtle, pastel. Yeah. And, you know, the, yes. the, the tropical sun sort of nicely brings it out. But it's not overpowering. So I'm sort of a little critical about the purple and the pinky yeah. stuff. Purple there. and but orange never mind. You bit. can just yeah. repaint it. But it's pretty much still in the original condition, and yeah. it's a keeper. So guys, please, yes. please keep it. Yeah. And next uh, picture is going, continuing in the jungle here. There's the Alihi. Again, little, you know, uh, four-story walk up here. And once again, very jungly, the staircases, right. when they put the light on there. You really want to go there. And again, this is sort of an express structure. You see these sort of tapering uh, beams coming out and holding it. So once again, celebrating circulation as today's And topic. the fact that it is not enclosed mm -hmm. means that when you're walking up and down, you are amidst those palm trees yeah. and you are in nature and you're feeling the air movement, yeah, yeah. which is something that we are grateful that we are mm -hmm. able to do mm -hmm. in this nice mm -hmm. tropical mm -hmm. climate yeah. as opposed to New York City, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. And as introduced here in a little bit, but next picture here or the next three yeah. here shows another theme where architects were sort of we said camouflage, you had a better term? Uh, veil. Yeah. We're, we're kind of veiling it. They're not totally obscuring the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, because a lot of buildings today, the stairways are entirely enclosed yeah. in walls. Yeah. This is turning it into a facade that's kind of covering it up, but camouflaging it, but letting you see some yeah, of it yeah. as well. And this is sort of a little the corduroying version. You Corduroy, these, you absolutely. You've got vertical thin lines of different widths, and this is very elegant, you know, very mm -hmm. nice sort of louvering over it. So it's sort of, you know, blending it away gives it a little bit the notion of privacy, but it's still visible. So it's a very elegant, very elegant yes, way. I agree. And so is the next picture, something we showed when we were focusing on yeah. these themes. We already showed this here. We just didn't point out there was a staircase behind Correct. it. Correct. Right? right. And you can still see through and you still have air movement mm -hmm. and you're not totally enclosed. Yeah. But there is a little level of camouflaging and yeah. uh, veiling. And the most extreme of that sort of subcategory comes next, which we also showed in, in that show yeah. in the back, is, which is that hospital here where they're pretty 50-50 porosity louvered. So you're very, yes. very camouflaging it, but you're still seeing through. And so air and light is going through, but it's yeah. filtered. And this is what the tropics are about. Absolutely. Next picture, another element that's already taken care of in the in that previous one, because the guardrail is sort of built into the yes. project. That's sort of an effect on the side, but usually they're separate. And this is referring to a show we did a while ago here, and this is another way, you know, structurally they're basically coming out, cantilevering out right. of the wall. Right. This is also a very ambitious, you know, and very um, effective. Um, yeah, and I think that what's interesting there is that those are intrinsically, as you said, part of the structure. This mm -hmm. is as, probably as basic as you can possibly make a stairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each, each step is a separate unit yeah. sticking out of the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, 
how else can you know how you couldn't strip it down any further mm -hmm. than that mm -hmm. except to put the um, all you got to do is add the railing and then again here look at this sort of refinement of mid-century yeah. detail that they're thicker they're yes. exactly following the the, the the gravity and and sort of the yes. structural necessity they're thicker where they get into the wall and then they get thinner right so this is perfectly showing the and they are the not lines. just a concrete block this exactly. rectangular exactly and then, you know, you need guardrails so you don't fall off, as we show one here. And next picture is going to show sort of a little yeah. pot of guardrails. Just, you know, again, you can get crazy. We can write books about it. And uh, we should point out code as a potential sort of enemy of freedom of expression. Yes. Yes. Because there is the, the head of the child is sort of the, the thing. Absolutely. It's so like there are... four and a little bit inches. And into current code, you can't be wider than that. Right. So these were way more experimental, way more exactly. open, way more liberal. And, and these things, a lot of, you again, as you just said, you see a lot of very interesting um, variations of these type of sort of wrought iron railings that were locally produced, mm -hmm. 1940s, 1950s. A lot of these little buildings have unique to them yeah. railing structures. They didn't just go buy them, they have them commissioned and made. Yeah, and a very, probably maybe the most charming we show next, and you know, shame on me, I, I, I was still not knowing where it is until yesterday. I drove, oh, okay. I, I didn't look to the left, yeah. where we did a show about yeah, Wall yeah. Street, but I yeah. looked to the right, and, and here there they is. are. Now I know. Right, and, and as you just pointed out, today this would be illegal, yeah. because there's too much open space there for where a child's head or another body part could get poked exactly. through to detriment of everybody. But isn't it beautiful? Yeah. And again, the question is how many kids get hurt? Probably not so many, so right. once again, codes are you know, well intended, but sometimes sort of shoot back because right. they limit our, you know, expression, exactly. freedom, and what you right. can do. Right, right, and that's a particularly so, cute one. That was cute, and that was mid-century, and there was more like 50s, yeah. uh, more sort of Googie style. And, yep. And, and then came the 70s. Uh, next picture is yes. uh, the brutalism era here. This is unfortunately now it's already boarded up, and they're taking it apart, which is very, very sad. This is Ward Plaza by Steve Owl. And again, he did some masterful staircases here of different right. types. The next picture is his project that is unfortunately down, Wart Warehouse. And once again, here is sort of brutalist way, hippie, yeah. the hippie way of, of you know, the opposite to the mid-century to, to the 50s, yes. where they were like dematerialized yes. in the garden. Yes, yes, yes. Here they're like overemphasized. Exactly. So, and, and the thing about this is that it's a concrete structure that's surrounded by a natural wood structure. Mm -hmm. So it's a contrast, and it's kind of, as you said, a little bit kooky because um, the rest of it is natural, yeah, hippie, yeah. but then we've got this big concrete curved thing mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. But it's and all gone. And also sort of overemphasizing or celebrating next picture is also we did shows and yeah. also wanted to do a walking tour with Docomo that we had to cancel because of that crazy rain, and so we're gonna move it to another time. But here again, I mean, this, the vertical thing that's sort of the iconographic thing is the staircase tower. And if you want to know more details, watch the show. Yeah, we've <laughs> already picture, talked about the Varsity Building. Another show that you also then got to watch here is Hilton Hawaiian Village. And, and once again, you know, this iconic staircase uh, celebrated as, as the exotic thing. People coming from other parts in the country where you just can't do it like that. Correct. Because you're going to, um, due to the international building code, on the mainland, they have to be enclosed. Yeah. So if there's a fire in your building and you live in New York and you need to get the hell out of the building, you don't slip on the overized yeah. uh, yeah. egress staircase and you right. break your neck. So that yeah. makes sense. But that ice thing, do we have that here? No, we do not have frozen okay. ice on our stairways, and I'm very happy about All that. All right, very good. And we we'll talk more about that in a second. But let's uh, remember another show that we did next one. So in many ways, this is sort of a reviewing right. of shows we did before because they all have staircases by nature if they're tall buildings. And here, another open staircase with the dorms, gateway dorms at UH. And young people, for sure, you know, are uh, the most uh, able to climb They are stairs. the most ambulatory, the most healthy. And they are the ones who should and can use stairs the most. They always go to the gym, sometimes indoor <laughs> gyms, both so. on campus and off campus. Why don't you do the stairs? That's the right. Doctor, and it saves you money to go to the gym or That's time, right. That's know? right. Just use the stairs. And next picture, if you live in Waikiki, which we did a show here about lanais and balconies, mm -hmm. There's also external staircases in these mid-century ones, and you go up like 20 stories, 20 floors. Why not? Keeps you in shape. Best That's right. Cardio. That's right. For you. That's right. right. 
So, uh, yeah, do it while your knees still work, let there, me tell you. There you go, we yeah. get to that in a bit here. Mm -hmm. So similar, uh, next picture referring to the show about Makaha, so the residential towers have the same thing, these very uh, patriotic uh, towers, staircase towers, and you basically climb the mountains in front yeah. of the mountains, and your building being an artificial mountain, and you climb it through the device of, you know, yes. ascending and descending in a natural way. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, literally mm -hmm. and figuratively speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, next picture is also a show with John Williams here. Edwin Bauer did it as well, just in two buildings, one in the Gold Coast and the other one here is more in Waikiki here. Once again, you know, really, as you said before, using it as a as a proud yes. architectural yes. element, like showing it off. It's sculptural. showing it off, it's right? A, and 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 you're making it again part of the element. It's a necessity. Mm -hmm. It isn't an adornment. Mm -hmm. It isn't mm -hmm. a, a an artificial no. um, it's type no, of. It's, uh, no, uh, it's it, no chevron. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It is. Yeah. It is necessary for the building, and you turn it mm -hmm. into something that looks good as well. Absolutely. And it's also looking good, you know, most people find, you know, Waikiki most compelling when the sun sets yeah. and it gets night. So the next yes. picture, also we <laughs> want to encourage you guys, look at them when it gets dark. Yeah. And this is just, you know, me here, it's one of my neighbors on the left side, which, you know, if you pay attention, and here the breeze block has been used as to camouflage it. And the breeze block at night gets lit up by the uh, cold uh, illumination that's yes. necessary. So yeah. you don't step and break right, your neck. Right. So it's mandated to right. have these uh, safety lights. Lights at all times. But the safety lights, they're there, you know, uh, and they turn into this illumination. Yeah. And I took this off the Ilikai the other day when we did the show about it. And once again, isn't this kind of, you know, yes. really tropical with the palm leaves and accentuating the geometry. The folding of the stairs have yes. a lot like the leaves of a, yes. of a plant. Yes, right? they are. They are. There so, are similarities. So next one um, is uh, basically, um, so whenever you have a building that, and this is Kamehameha School in Kaka'ako at, at the Salt area, and we were wondering if these, and this is a renovated building, mm -hmm. And so we're wondering, are these original or not? Yes. I just ran into one of our emerging talents who lives in there, and he, he is of the opinion that they are original. They are original. And they look like that. I don't think they do know. look like it. Yeah. And they, they are super interesting because they are a totally freestanding structure at the back of this building, which is 650 Ala Moana. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very interesting how the railing doesn't remain upright, but tilts at the same angle as the stairway does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a really interesting structure, and it's attention grabbing and attractive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. And I was about to, I pulled these pictures from the website here from Kamehameha School, sort of branding it and creating these sort of logos with a square diver, you know, going up yeah. the stair, kind of funny. But I was originally looking for another one that I think um, Hank Rogers and his Green Building Foundation, they made some advertisement. I yes, think it was on right. Ward um, Center at, the, at a door that goes into the parking and yeah. it basically reminded you of how much more calories you burn when you walk the right. stairs versus doing the doing elevator. The elevator. Right. So use the stairs for your health. Exactly. And next picture, again, so we keep returning to our invasive monster of Makaha student housing on King and University because most tragically the building, the project that was there before is the picture on the right that, you know, a couple, a few story mm -hmm. walk ups and it had one of these nice you know, and look how thin it was yeah. cast and it's tapering and, and what a shame. So once again, before you guys come up with new stuff, check if it will be as cool as the previous one and right. if not make it. And if you can't do it, then just leave it the way it is. That's unfortunately what we have to say in next picture. Yeah. Um, and then be critical about about things. And so there's, there's other ways to get up in the yeah. building and they're also driven by code. Correct. And one is the American Disability Act, the yeah. ADA. So yes. it says, you know, um, you have to take care of people who can't walk the stairs. Yes. They're either handicapped or they're too old or for right. whatever reason they can't do it. Right. But this is our friend Don Hibbert here who on a tour through Chinatown showed us this building. It's on Nuao Street between um, Bishop and Holtail Street and it's an historic building, turn of the century, not this just past century, but the other one before. Correct. And this is a wooden pulley elevator. How cool is that? And so somebody actually stood there and pulled, pulled ropes to exactly. make it do that? Exactly. Okay. And isn't that like a very sort of solidary act? I mean, if you think about yeah, people, yeah, yeah. you have to have some buddies and saying, hey, I need to get up there. <laughs> yeah, so, so pull the rope for me. Here, right? 
Well, now, and, so it, and that can carry people? It can carry people. All and right. it carried goods. And it's very low techy, right? Yeah. As well. yeah so yeah, there's yeah. little. We just got a new elevator at school at UH. And I don't know. I don't want to know how many hundred thousands of dollars that cost. And then it was just installed and then it broke down and it was out of commission for a couple of months. And then we got it fixed. And then some people got stuck in there. That certainly doesn't happen doesn't here. Happen. It's like the old cars. We yeah. use cars as vehicle for thought, yeah. right? With the old crank window, yeah. you can fix and it lasts right. forever. And but once the electric the, window breaks, it's it's broken. Exactly. So oh, maybe yeah. you guys go back and revisit this sort of archaic, uh, historic things and and thinking about innovating or, or re sort of interpreting these uh, these systems. And another one that I remember the next picture is a crazy one from the Netherlands where they had the warehouses and from whatever trade they were doing, the yeah. coffee and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. They had this wooden hamster wheel on the roof and that was basically powering a crane. And so it took like, I mean, there's two guys in there for the fun, but it just needed one person to basically be in there. And there's the picture. I put the picture I found right. online oh, they here. Take the stairs, tells you yes. like, and you know, and use the hamster wheel to bring things up. <laughs> yeah. So all of a sudden, you know, turn the fossil that makes you lazy, what the elevator right. is right now. Right. For many, I mean, yes. the few ones who you know need it, that's another story. But most people, let's just be honest, you know, are just doing it because they're lazy. Oh, it's, oh, of course. So it of makes course. you fat, obese, you get diabetes. Mm -hmm. So maybe you do these things, and then maybe you, you have stand the in the hamster wheel and exactly. make the wheels exactly. of commerce turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And we always speak from experience. And next picture is me going back to my childhood, and so um, I lived in this five-story walk-up. No elevator, 96 mm -hmm. steps. And, and you uh, knew there were 96. Yeah, and the, the lady who was sort of the, the, the caretaker of the building, she just turned 100. And, you know, not unlikely because she did these stairs until yes. very recently. Yes. So that's a proof of evidence. It it's is. good for you. Yes, it and, is good for and you. And the next no picture question. is how this sort of subject informs us in our work here. This is a school for disabled children we did a while ago. And then we had to do uh, two stories in parts because the site wasn't large enough to do one story. But then the question was in discussion with the building authorities and the fire department, well, in case of a fire, how do you yeah. get wheelchair kids right. mentally and physically yes. disabled down? There's just no way. And so we invented basically slides that are parallel to the stairs. And now they train it all the time with the kids, and the kids think it's fun. So in case sure. of a fire, you just don't panic them and say there's a fire. You just say, oh, it's slide time again. Yeah, and they love it. Yeah. And they evacuate like yeah. in, in no, right. with no effort. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we also camouflaged and louvered that, so that's a common thing. And that reminded you of another way how you can get well, in and out of a building. Exactly, and ramps are another big way. And, and, and ramps can work in places that you wouldn't even think ramps could work. Mm -hmm. But they have the advantage of not being steps. Mm -hmm. They have the advantage of being accessible to wheeled vehicles, mm -hmm. and they have the advantage of being at an angle that you don't feel as arduous. It's not as tough to mm -hmm. go up that ramp. Mm -hmm. And there is a building on Catalina Island off Los Angeles, which mm -hmm. has a building called, I mean, is it on Catalina Island, it's a building called the Casino. It does not have a gambling joint in it, but it had a ballroom on the yeah. top floor, yeah. and all the access was yeah. up ramps, yeah. that by, and by doing so, they could handle really large groups of people walking exactly. up and down. And also a very celebrated way of sort of seamlessly ascending yes. and descending. Yes. And another way to get up, it's another lazy one next picture, are escalators, mm -hmm. which are where the stair moves. And we were interpreting that here and making a canopy over um, uh, access to the subway station once again, sort of celebrating the enclosure or the semi-enclosure here. Um, so then, you know, going back to our home here, next picture. Is, uh, is me doing it on, in Waikiki Grant that we did a show about. And I have an internal staircases that I hardly ever do. And I have this external one that I do every day as part of my workout, and it's fun. So guys, And you just walk or run? I, I, just, I just run it. I run it. You I run, run it, it and that's your intention. exercise. That's, my, that's part of my exercise. There that's you go. Cardio, you know? And that's I'm, why he's so healthy, and that's why he's so slim. Try my best. There you go. Run, run, but run. You always run up Diamond Head. That's why uh, I'm doing no, such no, 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 I don't. So next picture um, is our hero. That's Howard Wig, host of Gold Green, mm -hmm. and working for the state and having reintroduced the Easy Breezy Staircases to the local building code, which, as we said before, this is New York City here and it snows, but we don't have that snow. And so we don't do what we saw down there is in Kaka'ako, a Stanford car development that I don't even know where the stairs are and has elevators and this introverted corridors. So Howard is our hero because he brings us back 
uh, you know, the, the chance to actually do the easy breezy staircases again. And bravo. And, and the next picture is then developers already do it uh, on the left, and there's one example here uh, in, in Kaka'ako, the Howard Hughes uh, affordable of what they're doing, but they're basically just licking and sticking a steel yes. staircase to a building. Right. So they're doing it to save money because they right. don't have to enclose it anymore. Exactly. But they don't take advantage of it poetically anymore. Right, and they don't which, make it sculptural because it's just sort of a prefab thing that's on yeah, there, yeah. as opposed to what we've already seen sticking things out and making them more yeah. interesting. And, and this probably, uh, we decide we want to do a show, maybe the next show, which we call basically Paradisal Pyramids. There's certain buildings that do something interesting. And this particular one here basically, you know, exhibits almost like in an exhibitionary yes. way exhibitionist way the staircases as the front, as the address of the building Correct. here in the Gold Coast. So, right. um, uh, let's run through a couple of sort of suggestions for the future. Uh, next picture, this is Ted Paul's studio, Bundit and Janice here, my heroes who have done uh, a building, uh, apartment building, uh, again, few stories, walk up again in Muli'ili, and they're celebrating the staircases, they're louvering them, they're doing right, they're just connecting to that awesome tradition. Next picture, um, what is that, the Soto? Well, that's Primitiva, that's Primitiva one. No, excuse me, no, 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 we're talking about, this is the um, container. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. our container mm -hmm. development, and it's got uh, walkways, it's got um, stairways connecting all those stacked up containers to each uh -huh. other. Exactly, and what you were just saying comes next, so there she is here. And there's Primitiva, there's Primitiva one. And as you pointed out, there's one section of this circular cylindrical building which is left open for mm -hmm. the stairway, and that is on the east or the west side, which gets the most sun. Mm -hmm. So instead of making that uh, residential, mm -hmm. you leave it open, and it's the stairway area which you use, not that frequently, but just partially, yeah. and you're always in motion. Exactly. So it, the, the heat of the sun doesn't really matter, plus we've got these open areas we've already talked about mm -hmm. as to where things are also going on, where the stairs are feeding into. Absolutely. But we want to do better, so that's why Primitiva 2 is under development. And the next picture is one of the inspirations. Yeah. I was having Don Hibbert's uh, flash drive uh, with things for Peter Shi on them, I think. Uh, I also found these here where, you know, he's climbing the mountains here in a pretty crazy way. And that's probably the original way. I mean, Suzanne and I were just doing almost by accident Malka to Makai. Yes. And that's the original way. People were Absolutely. going over the mountains. They sure were. That was the natural way. On right? foot. Exactly. That's the only way you could mm -hmm. do it. And mm -hmm. without the benefit of stairs, nowadays we have stairs, and the haiku stairs of the Stairway to Heaven mm -hmm. is was built purely for utilitarian purposes, mm -hmm. but it became mm -hmm. a thing that people hiked on just because it was so beautiful. Yeah. And talking going over the mountains, next picture, we also went to Bellows Beach. And Bellows Beach has this amazing tower to the left, which is almost like the sort of most archaic way you can make a right. stair. It's out of scaffolding members, very skinny. And then you have these cables that tie it down so it doesn't fall over. So you can't make a stair more minimal. And then David Rockland reminded us of Super Studio, who were these provocateurs, these rebels from the 60s here with their polemic photo collages here, one of them where you have escalators that just go to the sky. Right? So all these <laughs> for, no, things, for no particular reason. So these except things just, highly inspire us yeah. too. Let's look at the last picture here. And so, so this is Primitiva 2 under development right now. And uh, you see in the upper left-hand corner, there's a central core. And from that, these floors are sort of cantilevered off. And it's like the building that we talked about earlier, the, mm -hmm. the Waikiki Bellevue. Mm -hmm. In that central core, it does contain the stairway. Um, you've also got a picture of uh, sort of temporary types of um, structures for the nomads to live mm -hmm, in, as mm -hmm. you like to say. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is, again, creative thinking by architectural students. It is, and I want to particularly thank uh, Kwa, who had pulled an all-nighter to create um, the picture at the bottom left, which is telling us about what you just said, the urban nomadic lifestyle, and just providing stacked lanai's, as Kurt Sandburn right. calls it and then not stuff them and clock them right. with, with things, but basically have the most minimal lifestyle. Whenever you need privacy, you come up with more clever devices as these cocoons. To shade yourself or to, to disguise to yourself your, yeah, or shield exactly. yourself, right. And you're in this bubble for as long as you need to be private, and if you're not, you're out and about. It's yeah. basically cascading down 
landscapes and this is why we have split level here you can see the floors are yes. attached to the core yes they're offset yes a, a half a floor so you don't have that feeling you have to go a whole uh, story up or down correct it's only half story and that's what yeah. split level is and this yes. makes it almost be like a cascading landscape absolutely you, you and, down and, and in addition to just the way to, to the uh, idea of it it looks interesting too yeah, visually it, that it staggered look it, is, yeah. is kind of cool and as you always say it's not an add-on it's integral no. to the idea exactly. it doesn't cost more no. so it's a positive side effect so do it so with that was a good run up and down yeah together. Um, yeah we did it we ran we did it and so uh, see you back in about two weeks where we're gonna as we already said we're gonna look at right. uh, paradisal pyramids pyramids uh, it's gonna be our pyramid show interesting phenomenon yeah. because you would think that belongs to egypt but we but have no some no no here. we have some here that's right and, and also tune in next week we're gonna have the desert red will bruder who's gonna come here and he said he doesn't want to talk about his desert stuff he wants to come here don hibbert and i are gonna drive around with him and then he's gonna uh, sort through and he's going to share two handfuls of the best stuff that impressed him the most and two handfuls of the stuff that impressed him the least okay. and we said that's exactly how we do it right there we so go that's along our lines i'm going to watch that that's going to yeah. be cool please you all do and until then keep celebrating our exotic tropics and see you then bye bye